All right. Hey, everyone. This is Omar of All About Rush, your friendly neighborhood Rush fan. And today I'm going to do something a little different, something I haven't done before. You're not going to see my face in this video. Some people are saying, thank goodness. But no, I'm going to be off camera for this little exercise. And basically this exercise was prompted by the previous video that came out about uh, me ranking all of well, ranking Rush's top 10 best songs and uh seems to be a pretty popular video getting a lot of responses to that if you haven't seen that go check it out but that was an exercise in, obje in objectivity for me uh, i tried to make that list as objective as possible as what could the 10 best rush songs be out of over 160 or 70 something or so songs very exhausting actually was, you know years in the making let's say however um I mentioned to someone that I had never ranked the Rush albums, the 20 of them. I'm including feedback this time. It is a studio release of theirs, so there's 20. And I've never ranked those. I don't know which one is... I have an idea which is my favorite record. But I'm going to use this tier system here that you see in front of you to rank uh, the Rush albums based on what I like. Not so much if I think this album is objectively better than the other. I think this might be easier. I didn't pre-think this. I have no notes. I don't know how this is going to come out. I may surprise myself. Um, but the way it's going to be, um, you have five levels. You have an elite level. You have a superb level. And under that, you have a great level, then a good level, and then an it's still rush level. <laughs> Basically, uh, you know, there's no such thing as bad rush. Every rush fan knows that, but, you know, there may be some records that they're not exactly our favorite. But in any case, the way it's going to work is I'm going to start at number one. So I can't label these rows or the squares where these albums are going to go. By the way, the albums here at the bottom are in al in uh, chronological order. Uh, the way they appeared over the years. Rush, the debut album, being the first album. Clockwork Angels, obviously, being the last one. So what I'm going to do is, in order of appearance... I'm going to put them on the board in order of appearance. I think I said that. So you have one, two, three, four, five. No, I'm, I'm sorry. It's up to four. So because we have five rows, uh, it's actually the top record at the end will be right here. This is the top spot. The number 20 record would be over here. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So I'm going to bring each record. Uh, I'm going to start with the Rush. That's going to be the first in first place. Then when I bring up the second record, if I think it's better, I'll just put it in front. And if I think it's worse, I'll put it behind. So, you know, beneath, between, and behind, eventually all the records will be sorted. And I'll know what my top 10 best records are. I did say, I have said many times, that I think Test for Echo is a top 10 record. And there are a lot of detractors uh, of Test for Echo. And um, we'll see if I'm true to my word, if I actually end up putting Test for Echo as a top 10 record based on this tier system that I'm about to do. So let's get into it right now. Okay, so we have the debut album Rush. You know, when it came out, it was elite, right? There was nothing else. <laughs> so we'll put that there. Uh, that one's easy enough. Now let's go to Rush Fly By Night, their second record. I like it better than... The debut album so you know if i was around in 1975 i was but i didn't know about rush at the time um i would have liked fly by night better than the debut album um you know neil peart joins the band it's just a better it's better music um yeah so as of 1975 when fly by night came out it was number one okay then here comes caress of steel next record 1975 uh, uh definitely I like it. Let's move this here. I love Crest of Steel. I mean, it's one of, I've always said it's one of my favorite records. Underrated and maybe underappreciated by many, uh, even by the band members themselves. And I keep saying that I'm going to uh, do a video on dedicated to Crest of Steel. I think I'm still going to do that, but not yet. Um, but in any case, love Crest of Steel. So if I was around in, during this time, that would be my favorite. So 
Uh, here's what it looks like as of when Curse of Steel came out. That one's number one. Then we have Fly By Night number two, debut album number three. So now here comes 2112. That's the next one. And I got to tell you, for me, I like Curse of Steel better than 2112. That's just me. Um, 2112 sounds kind of strange to me as far as the audio, you know, the uh, mastering of the record. Um, and I like side two. There's a couple of songs there I don't care much about. Um, I just think Caress of Steel, the boys loved it when they made it. They just didn't like what happened afterwards. I think it gave them a sour taste in their mouth. And I think that they like um, they like the record more than, the, than they lead on. But in any case, still, as of this time, if I was around, Caress of Steel would be my number one record. I do like 2112 more than Fly By Night. And poor Rush debut, it would be fourth. Okay, so we have this top level filled, right? You can only have four. So the next record we bring in is going to bump one of the records down to the superb level. And here comes um, Farewell to Kings, right? Now, I definitely like it better than the Rush album. I like it better than Fly By Night. And I do like it better than 2112. Do I like it better than Caress of Steel? Hmm. That's a tough one for me. Okay, I'm going to say as of now, I like, I still like Caress of Steel as my favorite. I still like it more than A Farewell to Kings. So I'm going to bring Rush down to number five. So the Rush debut album is not, is a superb record as of this time. I still think Caress of Steel is my favorite. Right, really close is A Farewell to Kings. And this may be a list of what I feel like today. Uh, but in any case, um, Curse of Steel, wonderful record. A Farewell to Kings, wonderful record. Uh, could be a toss-up, but as of now, Curse of Steel is my favorite. Um, next we have Hemispheres. And um, as much as I love Curse of Steel, it's going to have to go right in front of Curse of Steel. I think Hemispheres is a, such a great record. Much loved record, you know, the last of the sidelongs. Actually, all of the sidelongs are taken care of. Now, uh, I got to move Fly By Night, and it's going to go ahead of Rush. Remember, it was always in front of the Rush record. So, as of now, Hemispheres is at my number one spot. And Crest of Steel, number two. Farewell to Kings, number three. 2112, number four. Fly My Night number five and Rush, the debut album number six. Okay, it's getting it's gonna be really difficult at this point because I think sometimes because of the way I feel about certain songs, I may like a record more than another. Um, so Permanent Waves, I think uh, I'm gonna say that I do like it a little more than Hemispheres, and. We're going to move 2112 down to the superb level. Yeah, this is difficult because uh, Hemispheres, you know, Cygnus, X1 Book 2, Avia Strangiato, every song is great on there. But you know what? Every song on Permanent Waves is great too. Um, it's really a great record. <laughs> so I'm going to have to barely put... Permanent Waves ahead of Hemispheres. And I'm not going to think too much about this either. I might be yapping away uh, a little much. And hopefully you'll indulge me. And yeah, maybe it'll be a little fun. To help you like stimulate your senses as to. Okay maybe I should do something like this. And see where really where my records. Um, you know my favoritism lies as far as the records go. Okay anyway. Uh, here comes uh, the giant moving pictures. Let me put it here for the moment while I think. Um, yeah, I'm going to put it ahead of Permanent Waves. Oh, I'll put it, move it this way. If it'll let me. There we go. Yeah. Um, Moving Pictures. It's a grand record. Um, it's really up there. It's one of the best. I do like it more than Permanent Waves. And I'm going to move 
a farewell to kings down to the superb level this is not a bad set of records you know it's not bad at all um all of them are really good they're all at least superb at this point um notice that 2112 which is a favorite of many has been moved down one level i don't consider 2112 obviously an elite record i mean i i didn't know that until now that i'm seeing it visually in front of me so this is a good visual exercise all right um yeah moving pictures that's the bomb here comes signals uh i already know that i'm gonna put signals at number one for now um when i do th i'll talk about that in a second but when i do that it's going to push everything down. I can only have four albums per level. So I'm going to put the Rush album down to the great level because Caress of Steel has to go ahead of A Farewell to Kings in the superb level. Yes, Signals. Um, it might be my favorite record. So that spot is probably going to be pretty secure uh, throughout this whole exercise. We'll see. We shall see. Uh it's a very nostalgic record for me. It was the first record I bought with my own money. Um, I got to know Rush during the Moving Pictures era. And then Signals comes out. Rush could do no wrong. It didn't matter that they were synthesizer heavy. I could still hear Alex very well. I could hear Neil very well. I could hear what everybody was doing. And I was incredibly impressed with the direction they were going. It still sounded like Rush to me. Signals to me sounds a little bit like Exit Stage Left. Um has that live feel to it but anyway signals right now is at my number one spot in the elite level and it has pushed my beloved crest of deal down to the superb level but hey it's superb right okay next is grace under pressure and it's getting a little difficult for me because i've never seen what i like in front of me this way it's forcing me to think which what do i really like Okay, um, I think I know where it's going to go. So I think I'm going to put it, I think I like A Farewell to Kings more than Grace Under Pressure. but And I like Grace Under Pressure more than 2112. That's what I'm thinking. So I'm going to move Fly By Night down to the great level because, again, we can only have four records per level. So here we go. This is starting to look interesting. And I'm starting to question what my likes and dislikes are. <laughs> so we have we have 2112 possibly being pushed down a level or two. I think probably that's the surprise here for me. Um, Grace Under Pressure. I don't like it more than A Farewell to Kings. Because A Farewell to Kings has some heavy hitters on there as well. You know, Xanadu. Cygnus X1 Book 1 um, that I really, really like. Um, and Caress of Steel, I have an emotional attachment to that one, I think. Um, I, there are certain books that I read, fantasy books, I read at the same time that I was discovering Caress of Steel. And they kind of matched. So, you know, it's part of my, you could say it's part of my childhood. But anyway, even with, regard, irregardless, as they say in Boston. I don't know if they really say that. Curse of Steel is a great record. So it's going to stay at its number five spot. So we have Grace Under Pressure at the number seven spot. Eking out 2112. Okay, this is a favorite of many. Power Windows. Let me put it down here for the moment. Uh, Power Windows. Interesting. Um, I think... Power Windows and Grace Under Pressure are the ones in my list that are going to vie for the number uh, seven spot. Um, that's difficult. Which which one would win? This? I think the seven spot is up for grabs right now. Um, I'm going to say that Power Windows, for me, will eke out Grace Under Pressure. So I'm going to... That means 2112 gets knocked down to the great level. And yeah, this is what it looks like. So I, I do still like A Farewell to Kings more than Power Windows, I think. So 
And I do like Power Windows, I think, a little better than Grace Under Pressure. Now, the Grace Under Pressure live uh, video, that's that's a freaking outstanding video. But we're not using any anything live to uh, augment the position of any of these records in this list. These records have to stand on their own in my list here. So number seven, we have Power Windows, which just booted Grace, Un Grace Under Pressure to the eighth spot. And so that then, <laughs> surprising, moves 2112 down to the great level. So in my list, 2112 is not a superb record. It's a great record. I mean, great is still great. It's great, right? It's pretty good. All right. Now here comes Hold Your Fire. Uh, Hold Your Fire. Um, I mean, there's some great songs there. This is the first tour I saw. Uh, although that should not have any bearing, but that's just uh, an anecdote there. This is really difficult. I told you it was going to get difficult. So we have Hold Your Fire. A lot of great songs. Um, again, I don't, I think I, the, those spots one to six are pretty set for the most part, maybe. There might be something coming along that might jar that. Um, I, I, I do. Hmm. This is interesting. Uh, let me think about this. I don't want to think too long, though. The idea is not to think too long. I have to make a decision. So I'm going to say that I like Hold Your Fire better than grace under pressure so i'm going to move grace under pressure down to the great level but again the seven spot is i guess that's a that's a crux in this uh list the seven spot who is going to win that spot will it be power windows or will it be hold your fire if i were to pick one and never have the other what would that be Wow, this is really tough. This is difficult. Um, I am going to... I'm going to... For now, I'm going to put Hold Your Fire in the number eight spot. It's a toss-up. This is the most difficult. I think this seven spot right now is pretty difficult to pick. Um, all right, so... We'll leave that be. I think these other ones that are coming up are going to kind of wreck what's going on over here. Um, I'm even a little uncomfortable having Grace and Depression in the great level instead of the superb level, but we'll see if it works out. Here comes Presto. Love Presto. Love it. Um, so the bottom three are still the way they are, and one of them, obviously, uh, the Rush album is going to get moved down to the good level. Uh, I think we're kind of seeing where this is going to go <laughs> for for that record. Um, Presto. I like it better than 2112. I like it better than Grace Under Pressure. Uh, do I like it better than Hold Your Fire? Yes, I do. That'll be interesting. Do I like it better than power windows you know what i think i do here we go so let's put rush down here to the good level because that's where it's going to be moved um then hold your fire is going to go down to the great level and presto is going to take the number seven spot away from hold your fire i mean uh, away from power windows excuse me so this is what it looks like right now Let's just sum up for the moment. So in the elite, in the elite level, number one spot right now is signals. Number two is moving pictures. Number three, permanent waves. Number four, hemispheres. Then in the superb level, we got in the fifth spot, coercive steel. Number six, farewell to kings. Number seven, presto, making a jump. Number eight is power windows. Number nine in the great level is hold your fire. Number ten, grace under pressure. Number eleven. 2112 and number 12 fly by night and then in the good level the 13th spot we have the rush debut album 
Ah, really interesting. Uh, yeah, pretty interesting. Okay, so here comes Roll the Bones. And I did an uh, interview, um, did an interview with Jillian Marianovich, and she stated that, uh, hold, hold your fire, not hold your fire. Roll the Bones is her favorite record. She might not be happy with me because I am i don't think much of that record. And I'll tell you why in a moment. I know exactly where it's going to go. It's going to go... I, I think I do like it more than 2112, unfortunately. Poor 2112. Um, yeah, I have my issues with 2112. Not because 2112 is a bad record. I mean, the song, 2112. It's a great song. I just hate... I really don't like the way it's recorded. That The way it sounds just... Just sounds wrong to me. Um, okay, so do I like it better than I, I put it in the spot ahead of Grace Under Pressure? Do, is that the spot I really want it? Um, yeah, I'm gonna put it over here. I'm gonna put it in the what the uh, 11th spot, right? That's 11. Um, I like the songs. On Roll the Bones, actually, you know what? I'm going to move it up one. I think I do like it slightly better than Grace Under Pressure. I mean, Grace Under Pressure is getting a bad rap from me. I think I do like it more, but I'll have to think about it. Roll the Bones just sounds bad. I don't like the way it sounds. I mean, just the sound of the record brings it down in my, you know, in my list. And also... I just I don't think it has a lot of great songs. If we were talking about what a side two would be for Roll the Bones, this is a lot of songs I'm not crazy about. It is in the great level, right? It's still great. I mean, there's so many records, it has to fall somewhere in that list. But for me, because of the way it sounds, and it doesn't have a lot of great songs, a lot of memorable songs to me, then that's where it lies in the... Uh, number 10 spot okay um here comes counterparts holy moly um let me sit it here for now um oops let me move this here when i move that maybe this is where it was supposed to be sorry if you see anything out of the ordinary here i'm doing this from a website anyway um yeah counterparts Love Counterparts. Counterparts is the bomb. One of my favorite records. Uh, did a complete 180 from the sound of um, Roll the Bones. Uh, I'm going to say Counterparts is at least number three. Number three. Do I like it more? I do like it more than... Actually, let's do this. All right, I'm going to put it at number three for now. Actually, no, I'm going to put it at number two. I think I like it even more than Moving Pictures. How about that? Because it just sounds so dang good. Okay, so this is going to be a lot of work now. So I have to move a lot of things. So I'm going to bring this one here. 2112 goes there. If, it, if it'll let me. Yes, here we go. And then, Power Windows will down, go, move down to the great level. Hemispheres down to the superb level. Oh, that's controversial. And then counterparts up to number two. I gotta think about that one. I mean, the songs on moving pictures are epic. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave it like that for now. Just a, just counterparts when it came out sounded so good. I mean, they made up for any transgressions <laughs> that uh, they did sound wise from previous recordings. And as much as Presto sounds similar to Roll the Bones, it, it sounds better than Roll the Bones. So the song, the greatness of those songs make up for it and you really bring it up to num the number eight spot in the superb row. But uh, Counterparts, I mean, it has some really great songs, really great songs. And Everyday Glory might be, might be the most underrated and overlooked song in all of Russ's catalog. Never played live. I mean, it has songs like that. Anyway, we'll leave that there. All right, here's the test. Test for Echo. Let me put it here for now. Oh, man. 
I said that it was a top 10 record to some of my my Rush friends. But is it, though? Let's see. Um, test for Echo. This might be difficult to place. You know what? Maybe not so difficult. Actually, I think I like Test for Echo better than Presto. Yeah. So let's move this down here. Let's move Presto down to the great level. And let's move Test for Echo up to number eight. Ah, okay, not bad. So far, so good. Uh, so we have Rush, Counterparts. I'm not going to go through. You can see them there. We'll go through all of them at the end. So I'm going to leave that there. Um, Presto and Power Windows have been moved to the great level. And we have uh, number seven, the difficult spot there. A Farewell to Kings, number eight, Test for Echo. I think that's pretty good. Okay, next we have Vapor Trails. Now, Vapor Trails, I have the picture of the remix version. Because I think the original version sounded just terrible. I think the re remix version sounds wonderful. If uh, the remix version came out first, nobody would think the other version would sound better. That's what I say. Okay, Vapor Trails. Um, as good as that record is, I think there's a lot of records better. But which ones? Uh, I'm going to say that Vapor Trails belongs for now um, ahead of... Okay, it's definitely ahead of Roll the Bones. Okay, so we're going to move some stuff. We're going to bring this down to the... It's still Rush level. <laughs> we're going to bring Roll the Bones to the good level. And now we're talking about 8, 9, 10, 11. The 11th spot, I think, is up for grabs here between Hold Your Fire and Vapor Trails. Oddly enough, in uh, my Getty Lee's voice video, I mentioned that Getty Lee's singing style, both in Vapor Trails and Hold Your Fire, were similar. I don't know if you agree with that or not. Check out that video and you let me know. Okay, so do I like Vapor Trails? better than hold your fire I'm gonna say no I'm gonna put that there okay so vapor trails is number 12 I'll leave that there for now okay this is the easiest choice of all um, feedback feedback is the worst the only reason it's the worst it's because those are not rush songs so that is an easy call and yeah, so Feedback is Rush's worst record. I can tell you that right now. Not because the songs are bad. Not because it sounds bad. It's just because it's uh, not Rush's songs. It's not theirs. Okay, two more to go. And then we'll do a final tally and see how, you know, if this really reflects what I feel about the order of my favorite records. Uh, Snakes and Arrows. Uh, I know there's several people who... Can't stand the cover of that record, but it doesn't bother me. Snakes and Arrows. Um, I think Snakes and Arrows. Interesting. You know what? I do like it, but I don't think it's... I think a lot of records are better than that one. Uh, this is going to maybe shock some people. <laughs> uh, I am going to... Can I put this here? No. All right. I'm going to move. But what is it that I was going to do? Snakes and arrows. Ah, yeah. Okay. I know what I'm going to do. So I'm going to put Fly by Night down to the It's Still Rush level. And I'm going to put Snakes and Arrows behind Grace Under Pressure. So I think Grace Under uh, Snakes and Arrows is better than Twenty One Twelve. Oh man, poor Twenty One Twelve. Is that is that really what I think of Twenty One Twelve? I'm talking as a record as a whole. I mean, if I were stuck with any one record, I wouldn't. I would not pick Twenty One Twelve as the record I want to be stuck with. All right, 
Anyway, one more. Clockwork Angels. The swan song. The legend that is Clockwork Angels. Wow. Um, this... I think I mean I can tell you right now for me Clockwork Clockwork Angels is an elite record. It's going to go on this row. That means that Look at that. That means that uh, permanent waves are going to be knocked down to the superb level. It's going to be a lot of movement here. So let me uh move them now. <laughs> so I'm going to put 2112 down to the bottom. Oh my goodness. I still can't believe that. Um, I'm going to put Vapor Trails down to the good level. I'm going to put this Test for Echo in the great level. It's still in the top 10, though. Test for Echo is still in the top 10. And then we have Permanent Waves down to the superb level. Dang. All right. Now, where should it go? Uh, I'm going to bring it to number two. That's where it's going to go. Okay, so here is how I stand right now as far as my favorite Rush records in order from best to worst. So we have the elite level, the superb level, the great level, the good level, and the it's still Rush level. All right, there are some things that I'm sure of. I'm sure that feedback is last. I'm also sure that the Rush debut album is second to last. I'm sure of that. I'm also sure that Fly By Night is is the 18th best record. So those three I know for sure, right? Uh, 2112, okay. I like it, but it's, it's exactly where it needs to be. It's still Rush. <laughs> um, all of these records to me are better than 2112. Even Snakes and Arrows. Um, I say even Snakes and Arrows because 2112 is really an, an iconic record. But I just think it, it's a matter of emotion, right? What you like, it's a matter of emotion. And all of these records in some way move me more than 2112 does. I think 2112 is really, it is a pivotal point in Rush's history as far as the records go. But we're not talking about that. Really, we're talking about what does this record do for me emotionally? And it, it doesn't that much compared to the other records. I mean, I can tell you at least one story from each of these records, you know, that I feel something. Not so much with 2112 or actually any of these, except maybe on uh, Fly By Night, by turn the snow dog, Neil Peart's drum solo. The two little drum solos he does, those are epic. That's as good as anything that's on any record. Uh, but anyway, so let's discuss this a little more. So we have the elite level. This, I think, is secure. Um, do I like signals more than Clockwork Angels? Yeah, I think I do. Do I like counterparts more than moving pictures? Um, I'm going to say no. Let's move that. So now I think that's better. All right. So that elite level, that's secure. Those are my top four records. Okay. Then we have the superb level. Is this order correct? I know I'm going to have a problem down here. I think, um, permanent waves and, uh, those two records, permanent waves and hemispheres back to back, you know, hemispheres, then permanent waves chronologically. Awesome just awesome um those might have to stay where they are caress of steel and a farewell to kings i think that's correct where they are i really love caress of steel so i'm kind of glad it's kind of up there in the top 10 um so then we have test for echo and presto in the great row Oh, I'm sorry. So in the elite row, signals, clockwork angels, moving pictures, counterparts. The superb row, five through eight, permanent waves, hemispheres, caress of steel, and a farewell to kings. All right, so we got the great row. These are great rush records. So we have Test for Echo, Presto, Power Windows, 
hold your fire. You know, I think that's also correct. I do. Uh, yeah, so is it the right order, though? Presto. I think, actually, you know what? I think I like Presto more than Test for Echo. <laughs> uh, now, Presto, Test for Echo is teetering on the 10th spot. I did say Test for Echo is a top 10 record. And as of now, I think it is. Do I like it more than Power Windows? Um, I think I do like it more than Power Windows. Barely. So I'm going to leave that there. Do I like Power Windows better than Hold Your Fire? Oh, boy. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come back to that. <laughs> um, let me move this back down. I don't like this movement so much. Whoops. Should be there. Um, the Good Row. Vapor Trails and Roll the Bones. Do I really like Vapor Trails more than Roll the Bones? Uh, no. I'm going to move that. For now. Oh, this is what I was going to do. I think I need to move Grace Under Pressure up more to the number 13 spot. I actually feel bad. Uh, it's where it is. Actually, I'm not crazy about the sound of Grace Under Pressure either. It's good, but it's not a great. And Hold Your Fire has such great songs on it. So I'm going to have to leave that there. There's something I'm forgetting from Power Windows that it's like I, sh I should keep it where it is. Because you have Marathon on Power Windows, and then you also have Mission on Hold Your Fire. I hold those two songs in high esteem. They're very emotional, and these could flip-flop. Yeah, they could flip-flop. So I'm going to leave that. You know what? I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we have our list. So the only thing right now I have to determine. Yeah. The only thing I have to determine right now is. Is. Is Power Windows and Hold Your Fire in the right spot. They're both going to remain great. They're both great. Um. Yeah, so let me think about this a little bit. Not too long. And I mean, Hold Your Fire has more songs. Power Windows. Let's see. As the years went by. Okay, I'm going to leave them the way they are. I think my list is done. So here is my list. So counting down from worst to best so in the it's still rush row which means you know some records had to be last because we're counting them we're doing a countdown right so it's the the it's still rush row we got at number 20 feedback number 19 rush the the debut record number 18 the fly by night and number 17 21 12 that's a sh that's a shocker. I didn't know it was going to be that low on my list, but I, I think it is what it is. So in the good row, we have at uh, at number sixteen we have snakes and arrows. Number fifteen, hold uh, vapor trails. Number fourteen is roll the bones. Number thirteen, grace under pressure. That's the good row, and for the great row. Number 12, we have Hold Your Fire. Number 11, Power Windows. Number 10, just barely makes the top 10, Test for Echo. Number 9, Presto. Then we have the Superb Row. I mean, these are really heavy hitters here. Number 8, A Farewell to Kings. Number 7, Caress of Steel. Number 6, Hemispheres. Number 5, Permanent Waves. And the in the elite row, the top four, number four, counterparts, number three, moving pictures, number two, clockwork angels, and my number one favorite record, as of today, by Rush, is Signals. I hope you guys had fun. 
If you like what you heard here and what you saw here, please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a like, like everybody says, but you know, I hope you do those things and you'll be notified of the other videos that come up. There's a lot of great stuff coming up. Uh, you'll see at the bottom of the video, a couple of videos that I recommend you watch. Like I said, I hope you had fun and we'll talk to you in the next video. See ya.